So what's up, what's up? Hey y'all, I am Stacia Vaughn. Hey, so let the people know what it is exactly that you do. So, um, to start, I'm a singer, songwriter, um, I don't want to call myself a rapper, but I dabble into that a little bit. Um, I'm a mother, I have a youth program, it's called BYT PGH. I've been working on that for the last year, and what I do basically is like, teach the kids about environmental issues, and um, educate them about, you know, different things in the community, and different things about mental health and spirituality, yoga, meditation, I want to introduce all of that into the schools. Um, I also have a page, it's called Pixar Artists, basically I want to bring like all of the artists together in the city, and just build a platform off of that. I have been working on music for my whole life, for the most part. Um, I've been singing for my whole life, for the most part. I started singing, my parents say, when I was two, but I don't remember. But I started singing when I was two, and just ever, ever since, like, I've been doing, like, open mic nights. I've been doing talent shows since I was eight. I've been doing, um different things throughout my life you know that have always revolved around music okay okay so where are you from i am from pittsburgh pennsylvania um, i was born at mcgee in pittsburgh and yeah i'm from pittsburgh hey pittsburgh representing <laughs> for one sue okay <laughs> <laughs> so where did you grow up in pittsburgh i mean like where, what side of town um, I was born, like I said, I was born in McGee, and then I think I lived like in Swissville and then Monroeville, and then I lived in, well, I moved to California, and I lived there for a few years, and then I came back here when I was about seven, I came back in 2007, and I moved on the hit to the Hill District, I lived on there for about a year, and then I moved to Penn Hills, and I've been living in Penn Hills since, I still live in Penn Hills now, so I've kind of been like everywhere a little bit but i mainly grew up like in Penn hills i've been in Penn hills since 2009 from so from 2000 2008 2009 so from there until now so i've like raised in Penn hills i say okay okay so east side pretty much yeah. pretty much yeah <laughs> a little bit everywhere but pretty much the east side that's what's up so how did you get started with music mm. That's a great question. Um, I like I said, I've been actually my mom made me do a talent show when I was I think I was like seven, eight when I actually first came back to um, Pittsburgh from Cali, and there was a talent show at this um, like at my church that we were doing, and my mom's like, oh, you should do it. And I was like, I don't want to do it, but then I was like, all right. So I sang um, "Irreplaceable" by Beyonce with this one girl, and we won second place. And I was like, I remember like that feeling of winning second place. I won a baby alive, and I was just like, wow. Hmm. So ever <laughs> since that, I've just been doing talent shows. My dad made me do a talent show when I was nine. I had to sing. Um, I believe I can fly by R. Kelly and after that he was like you got a good voice and then he's been pushing me ever since like you need to get into music you need to get music and my sister she actually does music as well so like watching her do music as I was growing up was like a, I kind of want to do it too so that's when I really like started getting into it that's awesome so I mean I know that you said that your sister does music does anybody else in your family do music as well oh my my dad's dad my granddad he was actually a jazz musician in Pittsburgh I think he was instrumentalist and a singer as well my dad sings a little bit um but he doesn't like to claim it he can sing um my sister sings my sister's boyfriend he's a rapper um my uncle he is a producer he's a uh, DJ he doesn't sing but he plays a lot of instruments he plays the piano um my uncle my on my mom's side he played he's a guitarist and he sings a little bit and my cousins in Arizona she's a singer and a rapper so I've like have a lot of music around me and my family so you know it actually just pushes me because I'm like all right if they could do it I could do it so that's what's that's what really made me start my family shout out to my family yeah, shout out to the family out right. there. So, I mean, I know that they're a huge motivation, but who else are some of your biggest motivations in the industry and also in the city? Ooh, in the, I'll start in the city, starting local. Um, I would honestly say everybody, like every time, like that's why I started Pittsburgh Artist The Page because every single artist inspires me. Like if they're just outside doing paintings on the street or, you know, if they're doing different events or if they're hosting events, literally it's every single person who's following their dreams, chasing their dreams, manifesting, you know, everything they, they want to manifest. That's what inspires me. That's what keeps me going. And the fact that 
they're making it happen pushes me. So I would say everybody in the city. Shout out to everybody in the Pittsburgh who's grinding and on the ground and doing what they got to do. Mad respect. Much love. I'm always inspired by everybody in the city. And in general, like, big, big artists. Um, honestly, everybody. Like, to get specific, um, Ari Lennox, I've been watching her. I love her. Coffee is actually one of my biggest inspirations right now because she's 19 and she's doing it. She just signed a record label not too long ago. She just won a Grammy. And she's only, she's new to music. Like, she just stepped into the scene and it's kind of like, we have similar sounds. She does reggae, Afro beats, you know, dance hall, that type of stuff. And she's an inspiration to me right now. So is Billie Eilish because they're both young. I'm 18, she's 18. She started music, I think, when she was like 14. And most of her songs that she just put on her album, she recorded when she was 14. I'm like, wow. So, you know, the young ones, we stepping up. We taking over. The youth. That is awesome. So, I mean, now that you mentioned, I mean, you're 18, like, wow, you're doing so much at right. a young age. I mean, that's amazing. Thank you. So, how does it feel to be 18 and sound with the label already? Um, It's a blessing. Everything is, like, happening so quick, so I'm trying to, like, grasp it, but to step back from the big picture, it's a huge blessing because it's not only, like, a record label, but it's a family. So, that's what's most important to me, that it's not just like, okay, you can sing, that's cool, but everybody's really family-oriented, family, family oriented and they actually care, they're actually genuine, you know what I mean? And it means a lot to me. It's a blessing that I'm 18 and doing, you know, things that not the average 18-year-old is doing. Absolutely. So, tell us more, you know, what label are you signed to, and also, mm. tell us more about the label. So, the label that I'm signed for is called Alfred Duckett's Entertainment. Follow them on um, all social media platforms at Alfred Duckett's Entertainment, you YouTube, Alfred Duckett's Entertainment. You can actually see the logo on the back of my jacket. And, um, wait, what was the question after that? Um, and tell us more about the label. Um, what are you so guys about? Basically, I'm learning as I go because I just signed last month in January. So, everybody that I've met so far, like I said, is everything is family oriented. Everything is very, um, together everything is like the communication is on point everything is organized the um everything is i don't know the word but i'll say that everybody around me in the label it grinds hard they all work hard and they actually care you know they want to succeed success is the goal and it means a lot it really does to be a part of a label who actually cares you know because like the music industry it's, it gets deep like a lot of these industries a lot of these record labels don't really care and you can just tell through the sound of people's music that they're just doing you know they're just rapping and singing to make money and i feel like this isn't that so i'm grateful that is awesome i mean and it sounds like you know you're happy doing what you do especially Very. with the family that you called it right you know what i'm saying that's well, amazing indeed. so how many shows have you did so far since you started Ooh. Um, with the record label, so far we were in New York, we did a showcase, we were in Ohio, um, that was, I that was it so far, yeah, um, New York and Ohio is what we've done so far, which is like, amazing to start that, I'm going out the city already, and it's a huge eye opener, because I'm like, wow, like, this is just the beginning, I just signed, so I'm excited for what's to come. Absolutely, absolutely. So, another big thing that you have going on is you mm -hmm. dropped your single called Lover. Ooh, yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. So it's on all streaming platforms, everything. Um, tune in. Everybody loves it. Like, my whole phone, I was very overwhelmed because everybody's like, this is dope, this is dope, this is bad, this is bad. And it's great because that was the goal when I recorded it, like, when I was, you know, writing some of the lyrics. And I'm like, you know, I want this to be just a good energy high vibrational song that everybody can vibe with you know the beat i really liked i'm into like caribbean music afro beats dance hall all of that soca all of that stuff. i'm like i want to be as diverse as possible so it's definitely diverse i would say go listen to it right now if you haven't already it's a little vibe you know you'll like it stay tuned like i said it's on all platforms um youtube apple music title spotify pandora spin up I might have forget some, but mm -hmm. tune in. Yes, it's on everything. YouTube is the biggest one that everybody has that you don't have to pay for. Yes, absolutely. So tell us, what was the thought process behind that song? What made you create that? What type of vibe were you in at the time? Honestly, the way my brain works, I kind of like think backwards. But I don't 
the other. I might not think backwards. Everybody might think backwards. But I just was just writing. And I was going with the beat, you know, going with the flow of the beat, trying to visualize. I'm a visionary, so I'm trying to visualize how my voice can be on the beat and what I can say and what, you know what I mean, like what we can do. And me and my manager, we code, like we, we co-write it. Like we was going back and forth with ideas. And I'm like, all right, that's a good hook. So I'm adding on to the hook and I'm trying to just brainstorm and keep the song around love. You know, like I mentioned, like Aphrodite, which was a love goddess back in, back in the back of the day. Um, I mentioned, you know, I actually kind of flipped the perspective on it because I'm talking to people like, you know, this is for the lovers, like, listen up, you know, this is for all the people who are in love, who want love, who, you know what I mean, who attract love. But then again, I switched it and talked about my perspective of love and the relationship that I'm in and how I feel about my boyfriend and the whole song just revolves around love, which is great because for my first single to drop, this is perfect because I want to be known that I'm a lover you know and I just love people and I'm just genuine have a good spirit and that was the biggest thing I just wanted to do was just be diverse and love show love okay okay so how do you feel about the music scene here in Pittsburgh um the music scene here is pretty diverse um I think the biggest things that people actually like to hear is like trap rap rather than singing there's not really there's not a lot of diversity but there is at the same time because there's different flows there's different you know there's different ways that rappers write and there's different things that they rap about but i would say like the overall scene as if you ask somebody who wasn't from pittsburgh you know what they heard and it's like the trap rap which isn't really my cup of tea but I respect all of the trap rappers. I respect their sound. I respect, you know, what they've been through and what they're talking about. Because it's a different perspective. It's not what I've been through. But it's a different perspective, so I respect it. But I will say that the Pittsburgh scene needs more diversity. So I want to try my hardest, especially as a female artist, to bring different female sound rap to not rap about negativity and sex and drugs and money you know what I mean to rap about real life stuff like Rap City like Lauren Hill you know what I mean like bringing just bringing a different different energy different vibe to the city is necessary is needed you know as much diversity is possible that we can get is needed so yeah it's pretty cool I vibe with it absolutely so I mean you've been doing music for a while now mm -hmm. um to know you know you get around you've been doing shows are there any beefs that you have with any other music artists, labels, business owners, anything? Not even a little bit. I'm not a beef type of person. I'm very laid back. I stay in my own zone. Like I said, I respect everybody from a distance, even if I don't agree with them. There's no beefs. I don't plan to for there to be unless somebody feels the type of way towards me, which is like hopefully they never get that way because I want to stay, you know, as cool and calm, collected as possible and just let it be love back and forth, energy reciprocated. So, yeah, no beefs. Awesome. No smoke. No smoke. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, what could people expect from you in 2020? Um, Expect everything. Don't expect nothing at the same time like just you know what I mean just keep an open mind and just I want to surprise people as much as possible and I want to bring different things to the city I want to bring different things to the table I want to bring different perspectives of things I want to bring more creativity I want to think outside the box so expect the unexpected um I'm going to keep everybody on their feet you know I want to not stay the same stay stagnant I want to be like boom pow, boom, 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 boom you know here I am um, I would just say stay tuned is the biggest thing. Stay tuned, support, show love. That's the um, it's the most important. You know, if you show love, you get love back. And yeah, just stay tuned for what we have in store. Absolutely. So, is there any special shout outs that you want to give to anybody right now? Shout out to my team. Shout out to OFD. I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed to be a part of this team. Um, I'm very, very grateful. I can't say it enough to have been chosen to be the first female artist on here. I'm making history, you know, as we speak. Shout out to my family. Shout out to everybody who's on their grind. Even if you're feeling stuck in your circumstance and situation, get up and grind. Get it happen. Make it happen. Do what you got to do. Stay focused. You can do what I do. Drop music, you know do what makes you happy stay positive give love show love and um yeah shout out to everybody who's doing their thing out here shout out to you for bringing me here and interviewing me i appreciate this opportunity very much um yeah peace and love absolutely um I, when i first heard your music i thought you were dope 
So Thank it's you. a pleasure having you on here. And we're now I know I know where to find you at, but where can everybody else find you at? Follow me on I'm pretty much on all platforms. Um, my Instagram is underscore the Stacia Vaughn, the Stacia Vaughn, T H E S T A C I A V O N N E. Let's go to do it in sound language. Um, follow me on Twitter at Pretty Vaughn, P R E T T Y V O N N E E E. Um, my Facebook is Stacia Vaughn. I don't, um, add people back that I don't know. So I like to keep that kind of family oriented and personal. But yeah, Instagram and Twitter is really where everything is. You know, you'll get to know the real me. I do lives and stuff like that. My YouTube channel is Stacia Vaughn. Um, follow my record labels channel. I mean, Instagram at, um, Out for Duckets Entertainment. Out for Duckets and then it's underscore ENT. Stay tuned. Period, period. Well, we look forward to you, to seeing more from you. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to see what you got coming in 2020. Yeah, it's a lot. Like, the list is unlimited. I like to tell people what I got going on. But at the same time, I want to keep it a surprise. Because I don't want to block my blessings by speaking on them, you know. So, yeah, stay tuned. And stay tuned. That's it. <laughs>